Welcome to Cook, Pray, and Eat. Thanks for watching today. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and of course at our website, cookprayandeat.com. Uh, today, uh, we're setting up for the big party, Super Bowl. Uh, so we're going to walk through several different recipes, some of your favorite treats uh, to get ready for having all your, all your friends over and family to watch the big game. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to do uh, cheese dip and sausage, uh, wings, homemade mozzarella sticks, cowboy caviar, pasta salad, buffalo chicken spring rolls, fried pickles. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're set it up real nice. It's going to be delicious and uh, hope you can make your party uh, just as good. Thanks. Stay tuned. For the chicken wings, um, so we've got uh, 40 chicken wings, um, which is about eight pounds uh, that I purchased. I'm going to walk you through uh, just exactly how to do them. It's going to take up uh, a lot of the sheet tray as well. So um, utensils wise, uh, you'll need a a uh, large sheet tray um, for the oven because we're going to stick these in the oven and bake them first um, and a few mixing bowls. This is just going to kind of be our station as we're battering and breading, uh, putting everything, getting everything ready for the oven itself. Um, you also need either a, uh, a deep fryer, um, a skillet and oil to fry in. Again, if you use a skillet and oil, don't put a lid on it while you're heating it up because it will catch fire. Um, or an air fryer. You can choose whichever one is easiest for you and how you want to do it from there. Uh, set your fryer uh, to 350 when it's time to uh, cook them in the fryer. Oven, you want to preheat that to 375 and they're going to cook for about 30, 35 minutes or so. Um, as far as ingredients go, so you'll need about uh, three cups of flour uh, for the first 20 wings, um, three eggs, one cup of milk, uh, pan coating, olive oil, extra, extra virgin olive oil is what my wife prefers I use. Um, and then uh, your chicken breading is seasoning for frying chicken. Um, I found that this stuff is so good. It's got tons of flavor in it. Uh, it turns out very brave, brown, crispy, uh, just excellent to use. So I, I like to buy uh, that instead of using a, a flour and put a bunch of seasonings together. Did that for a long time. This is fantastic though to use. All right, first thing we're going to do, go ahead and coat our pan. And I've got my wings already uh, drying out uh, in, in the sink. Uh, put them in a strainer just to get all that moisture and juice off of there. Uh, and then I'm gonna mix my eggs and milk together, put them in the breading here. Um, and then I'm just going to transfer from here into my milk, uh, milk and egg mix here into the breading right onto the sheet tray. All right, got my wings all tossed in the flour itself. I'm just going to dip in here right into the breading. Make sure it gets fully coated. That's most important. Place them on. All right, our wings are all uh, battered and breaded, uh, ready to go into the oven. Again, I'm gonna stick this into the oven, 375 degrees uh, for about 30, 35 minutes. You want them nice and brown um, and a little bit crispy. And then we're gonna just set them out when they come out of the oven. She's gonna, just gonna set them out on the table here and let them cool to uh, room temperature. And then I'm going to uh, place them in a bowl or maybe even portion them off into a bag uh, and get ready for the fryer. All right, wing just came out of the oven, um, looking really good. I'm gonna let them sit here and just come down to room temperature and then uh, I'll portion them off or put them into a separate pan and put them into the fridge just to cool them off all, all the way before I put them in the fryer. Our wings are all done. Just pulled them out of the fryer. They've been in the fridge for a couple hours, just cooled off, uh, dropped them in the fryer for about three to four minutes and at 350 degrees and here we have it be sure to bless it before you eat and enjoy